The third season of Sweet Home was really a test of one's patience. Season 1 had set the standard for live-action adaptations of webtoons pretty high, and fans had huge expectations from its subsequent installments. But the entirety of season 2 and 3 seemed so scattered that no one really had any idea what was really happening in the show. And I guess that was the single most important reason why we couldn't empathize with the deaths of so many characters in season 3. These characters were doing anything and everything to keep the plot moving. Their actions and motivations weren't really grounded anymore and I couldn't relate to them. Take Yi Kyung for example. I really thought she turned into a monster and died at the end of season 2. But then Hyun Soo revived her so that she could redeem herself for her past mistakes and finally come to peace with her daughter's true identity, only for her to die in an unceremonious fashion. It was all messy but you already know that, so without further ado, let's explore all the characters who died in Sweet Home Season 3 and if their deaths had any meaning on a thematic level. Spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing certain essential plot points and details from the show. Yong Hu, along with a few members of the Crow Platoon, had arrived at Dr. Lim's old lab as the evil scientist was on the hunt for something vicious. However, at the facility, they were attacked by a group of special infectees who took them hostage and ended up killing Yong Seok, Jong Hyun, and Seo Jin for their entertainment. And I know they called it an experiment, but it didn't mean anything in the larger scheme of things. The wounded Yong Hu somehow managed to escape the facility with Seok Chan. However, Yong Hu had lost a lot of blood and was on the brink of death when Seok Chan gave him his blood and made the ultimate sacrifice so that his senior officer could live to see another day. Fortunately, Yong Hu made it to the end of the show. Ho Sang and Han Ni's companionship goes all the way back to season 2. They both were street survivors who started hunting down the monsters on the road to protect themselves. Things changed when Han Ni found out that Hyun Su could turn monsters into humans and she felt guilty for her actions and communicated the same to Ho Sang. However, the old man still believed he didn't do anything wrong, but as soon as Ho Sang started having second thoughts, the voices of all those people he had killed started haunting him. He soon turned into a monster. Since Ho Sang didn't want to go on as a monster, he killed himself in a self-orchestrated car explosion. So here comes the most stupid death of season 3. I mean, they literally ruined Yi Kyung's character arc. She really deserved much better. At the beginning of season 3, Yi Kyung, who becomes a human again, decides to find her daughter so that she can mend her relationship with her. She believes that Yi Su might be near the stadium as she has always frequented the place. But as soon as Yi Kyung reached the shelter, she saw her fiancé with his army who had been looking for Yi Su as well. Through Lim, Yi Kyung found out about Sang Won's evil plan to use her daughter's body as a vessel for his greed and therefore, Yi Kyung decided to rescue Yi Su from the stadium. However, before the mother and the daughter could run away, Sang Wong attacked them in the tunnels. Yi Kyung tried to protect her daughter, but she was no match against the monster. In the end, she sacrificed her life so as to buy some time for her daughter to run away, but Sang Won captured Yi Su and locked her down outside the stadium in a cage. In other words, Yi Kyung's death meant nothing at all. To be honest, the evil scientist had been lingering around for too long and I was eagerly waiting for his death. In a way, you can consider Lim to be the root of all evil since he had conducted cruel experiments on humans and monsters alike just to fulfill his curiosity. And Sang Won would have killed Lim sooner if he didn't want his help to figure out how to swap bodies. During the last few episodes of season 3, Sergeant Tak in Won turned against Lim and revealed to Sang Won that he was the one who had created special infectees through his blood. And that was the reason why these monsters treated Sang Won as their master. 
At this point, Sang Won really had enough of Lim's childish games and therefore decided to kill him. In episode 7, he not only crushed Lim's last vial of Sang Won's blood but also pierced his guts to kill him on the spot. Chi Seong, often referred to as the Black Suit Man, made his first appearance at the end of season 2 when the Crow Platoon arrived at the old facility. Chi Seong was also a special infant created by Lim using Sang Won's blood. Throughout season 3, Chi Seong had been a loyal servant to Sang Won and carried out his master's orders diligently. But in the end, Sang Won killed him because he had no use left for the likes of Chi Seong and Lee Jae Jin. Sang Won's ultimate plan was to possess his daughter's body, which had the ability to turn any human into a monster. Seo Yi Su could even control these newly transformed monsters through her mind, and that's what Sang Won wanted absolute control of the world. He didn't have any need for Chi Seong and therefore after killing Lim, Sang Won unleashed his wrath upon Chi Seong and threw him into the fire to end his existence. Lee Jae Jin and Ja Yong, both of these special infectees were a part of Sang Won's army and as already mentioned were made through his blood. But while Jae Jin had been the most nasty monster of the lot, Jae Yong was quite empathetic towards humans. She had even helped Yong who escaped the facility when the monsters attacked them in the arena. In the end, Jae Yong had a change of heart and decided to help the humans escape the stadium facility as she didn't want to side with her evil master anymore. She sacrificed herself while trying to stop Jae Jin and his molten lava from killing Yong Hu and other survivors. Jae Jin, on the other hand, was killed by Yong Hu, who planted an explosive on his body and triggered the bomb to end his menace forever. And yes, this scene also featured Surgeon Tak, who had turned into an ice monster of some kind, but I guess he survived. The season's ending didn't exactly reveal Sergeant Tak's fate, but I'm hopeful that he will soon turn into a new human and come back to his human form. Chief G Well, that's a tricky one. Sergeant Tak had found out that Chief G was hiding a monster in the basement who was none other than her own son, who turned into a monster. She kept feeding him the symptomatic survivors so as to keep her son alive and the monster calm. But ultimately, her secret was exposed to the world and Sergeant Tak cuffed her for everyone's safety. The show didn't exactly reveal what happened to Chief G after the Crow Platoon decided to desert the stadium, but I believe she was either killed by Sang Won's monster or died in the chaos. I know this is the one you have been waiting for and that's Sang Won. Well, fortunately, the evil perishes in the end. Sang Won once again takes over Sang Wook's body, but this time around he isn't strong enough to take control of Sang Wook's will. Sang Wook uses the opportunity and drags his body into the fire, thereby killing Sang Won once and for all. Yes, Sang Won is dead and he won't be coming back or switching bodies anymore. I guess these were the major characters who died in season 3, but if you can think of anyone else, feel free to suggest and I'll make sure to add them in the list. Also, many people might be wondering if Yi Su is dead or alive. Well, she is alive. And the same goes for Yoon Yu, who was infected and was on the verge of turning into a monster. While the show didn't explicitly explain what happened to Yoon Yu in the end, one can theorize that she too would turn into a new human and one day return to the apartment where all the other new humans are living. Thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Sweet Home 3. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the time being, goodbye and take care.